Heather Galler is a contemporary artist. That means that she is still alive and creating works of art today. She is an abstract artist. That means that her artwork does not look realistic. For example, her flowers, we can tell that they are flowers, but they don't look like flowers that we would see in real life or in a photograph. She uses a variety of lines, shapes, and colors, as well as patterns to create her flowers. Let's get started on our own flowers inspired by Heather Galler. Remember, Heather Galler uses lots of shapes and lines to create her flowers. So we're going to start with some circles. She uses lots of circles in her art to create her flowers. Start with some big circles and also add in some small circles. We want to make our flowers look like they are overlapping, which means that one is covering another one. So these flowers, these circles that I'm drawing, are going to look like they are overlapping. To make it look like they are overlapping, you can draw the circle, but don't close the circle because the other side of that circle is going to be behind the other circles. So here are my five circles. They are overlapping, some are big, some are small, and now I'm just going to add in some smaller circles in the middle and then start adding designs in my flowers. Remember, Heather Galler's flowers are abstract. That means that they don't look exactly like they would in real life. They are creative and expressive. So let's go ahead and add in some shapes and lines inside the flowers. <music> Let's go ahead and add the vase that our flowers are sitting in. There are lots of different ways that you can draw your vase. You can draw um, your vase with some diagonal lines and a line at the bottom to connect. You can draw it more rectangular shaped or more rounded. You can draw it skinny and round. You can draw it square. You can draw it diagonal and round. It's totally up to you. I think I'm going to go with hmm, that one. So I can see that at the top of the vase, I need two diagonal lines that go right up to the flowers. And then at the bottom, I'm just going to make a very round bottom. There we go. I love my vase. Now what we can do is add lines beside the vase for the tabletop or the floor that my flower vase is sitting on. What I'm going to do now is add some leaves because I'm feeling like my artwork is a little bit empty right now and I have a lot of empty space around the flowers. So I'm going to add some leaves by drawing straight or curved lines coming out of the flowers and then curved lines around the line to make the leaf. Maybe a few on top. There we go. And another one over here to balance it out. All right, super. Now, Heather Galler also included a lot of different designs in her artwork in addition to the flowers. So I'm going to add some designs on the table. And if you want, you can even add designs on the vase as well. That's up to you. See you next class for part two.